I don't remember the last time I paid full price for a running shoe. I have bought many of my running shoes at ridiculously low prices. Many of my viewers keep asking me where I get my shoes at these prices in my videos. This video is to answer that question, you know, and to show you guys exactly how I get my running shoes at the best prices. Now, the first point is that online shops are always cheaper than in-store prices. I don't even remember the last time I bought a shoe from a physical store. I used to, but I don't anymore because I found out again and again that online prices are always better. Even from the same store, you can get some discount codes, get so many other perks online that you can get when you walk into the store. So a good start is to buy most of your running shoes from online stores. The second point is that the best prices are not usually from the official website of the shoes. I don't know why, but it is true. You don't get the best prices of Nike shoes from Nike website. You don't get the best prices of Puma shoes from the Puma website. The same goes for Adidas, Under Armour, New Balance and all of them. And guess what? You can still get the very same original shoes at cheaper prices from other stores. Then the third point is don't have just one favorite shop. You know, anytime you want to buy shoe, you go to Amazon, you search, you buy. No. Someone probably told me I'm an amazing person. Guy, you can't be an amazing person. They don't care about you like that. They are out there to do business and so should you. My suggestion is to have at least five reliable online stores in your locality. You know, stores that are reputable for quality and they make no fuss with returns and refunds. I have more up to eight or ten that I buy from regularly. Each of these shops have something going on at different times. Some have anniversaries, some have discounts, some have celebrations, some have so many things and they offer many discounts. So if you have so many options, you can always avail yourself at these options when these shoes are up for offers. Here in Saudi Arabia, my favorite shops include Namshi and Son and Sound Sports, Sixth Street, Amazing, Noon.com, and then of course official websites of Puma, Nike, Adidas, and all the rest of them. Another way I used to compare prices is also used Google Shopping. You know, type in buy any shoe of your choice and then search, and then you click shopping. Of course, if your location is enabled, it will show you all the areas where these shoes are available within your locality and also the prices at which you can get them. So it's easy for you to see the price of all these shoes currently at several online shops at the same time. You know, so that's one way that you can also easily compare prices within a few seconds. Another way to also get premium shoes at very good prices is to go for the older models. You know, new shoes are fashion. So immediately a new model comes out, the price of the old ones drop. But you know that a good running shoe in 2022 will still be a good running shoe in 2024. It may not be the best for now, but it will still be a very good option if what you are looking for is a very good running experience. So don't be caught up with the latest models if you cannot afford them easily. Besides, not even all the latest models of all these shoes are the best. For instance, I ran in the Nike Pegasus 37, 38, 39 and 40. And believe me, my best Pegasus till date remains the Nike Pegasus 38. I ran in the 39, it wasn't as good as the 38 for me. And the 40 is the worst Pegasus that I have tested. There are also so many other examples. For instance, I prefer the Nike Zoomfly 4 to the Zoomfly 5. I prefer the A6 Nova Blast 3 to the Nova Blast 4. I reviewed the Nimbus 26, but I still prefer the Nimbus 25 to the Nimbus 26. So sometimes cheaper older models can even be better. Now, another way that I also get my shoes at very nice prices is to make use of sales and discount codes. This is so very important if you want to get your shoes at a very affordable and nice prices. One thing I do is I select all the shoes that I want, I put, I put them in my cart or in my wish list and then just wait. I, anytime the prices of these shoes crash, I quickly grab them. One thing with all these running shoes is that immediately they come out, they are very expensive. That's not the best time to buy these shoes. You know, just give it time. Within a couple of months, the prices begin to drop. And by the time they now get to three, three to six months, you can get some of them even at half the price at, at the first time that these shoes came out. Here in Saudi, there are so many sales from the different platforms. They have payday sale, they have Eid sale, they have Ramadan sale, they have 11 11, they have Super 6, they have Black Friday, they have Black November, they have all sorts of sales. You know, so just Push all these shoes in your cart or in your wish list and just wait for any of these opportunities. Sometimes you can get up to 60 to 70% off. And you know, another thing that happens on these websites, when the shoes come out, when they have it in large volume, the prices will be high. As they sell it off, if 
a few sizes are now left they usually crash the price to sell it up so if your size is one of the ones that are now left at that time boom you know you click on it and then you can buy it at a ridiculous price different banks also offer some discounts on several of their cards you know so just check out all these things if you have any discount code of course you can always use it mm. another thing that i also do is to make use of uh, facilities and opportunities in some apps you know for instance adidas Runtastic allow gives you the option to link your your account on their sales page to your account on the adidas Runtastic running app you end points by tracking your runs daily with the adidas Runtastic app and that's not even all you can join virtual challenges virtual races as you complete each one you end points you know like if you check on my app now i have over 12,300 points more than 80 percent of all those points came from tracking my runs on the adidas fantastic app and uh, joining virtual challenges and virtual races and then on the adidas website these points can all can now be used to buy discount vouchers up to 30 percent so imagine getting one third of the price off from your shoe by just tracking your run with their app you know that's that's an opportunity that uh, anybody should avail themselves of so guys that's it from me never pay the full price again for your running shoes thanks for watching this see you in the next one